Right guys, Gaft is back with the explanation to gone. It requires a couple of things. We've got a magnetic joker that's going to stick on the bottom of the box. I've got a joker in the box already. I'll do the box up. I've, so I've got my magnetic joker face down. I've got the gong card face up. I've then got it covered with a double backed playing card ready to go. Let me just show you something crazy. Call out stop whenever you want. Ten of spades. As a bit of a convincer, I'm going to show them the ten. I'm then going to do a quick triple lift. And you say, you know what? I'll do another quick triple lift. Get them to sign the card. They can see this card or just hold it and they'll sign it. Um, it's easy to get a triple lift because you've got that hard card. You're always going to pick up on those three cards. It's not a problem. So you can say the ten of spades. You know, what, actually, can you sign it for me? Get them to sign it. You'll turn it over one more time doing a triple lift. This is now the gone card, which we're going to place on the table or in their hand or whatever. Um, you do have a double back playing card on the top of the original card. So to get rid of that, I'm going to lift up with the thumb break and then just double undercut that card to the bottom. Um, there is only one slight problem. If you deposit the cards like this, there is a discrepancy because you've got a, um, a double a card face down on the bottom. Um, in my performance, when I'm at work and you're talking and there's stuff going on, I just put that down on the fly, move the box, put the cards away. No one ever suspects or notices a thing. It's just, it happens in on the fly, but you've deposited your joker and their card here. Like I said, this was a brand new idea. Pretty much thought it up in the van, thought I'll try it, it worked. Um, I did already have the gong card. So all you gotta do now is make up your own pattern and say, I'm gonna see if I can make that card vanish. That card is now gone. They'll obviously feel that the card is still there, but when I mean gone, I mean, Gone. Now that gets a bit of a laugh in its own right. But the fact the card is gone. Now if you want them to go through the pack, you're going to have to sort of palm away this double card. Um, in my performance in the real world, I literally shuffled that double back to the top. And then I just spread, I went through the card to say, look, your card has gone. You don't even need to show them all. They're pretty convinced it's gone. Only to appear in a most unusual place in the damp box. Now, not just in the damp box, but in between some cards. So open up the back, grab the joker from inside and the gimmicks on the outside by the little tab. Pull everything out of the box and show you've got a joker, a joker. And in between the jokers, as you know what, it's your signed tennis spades. Now I've used these cards a lot of times, but I just thought I'd add the, the gone card. So it's just another idea for you guys. I mean, this magnetic box, possibilities with this thing are just limited by your imagination. So uh, smash the like button, subscribe to Gaff Academy, post notifications on, and we'll see you tomorrow for another card trick. Cheers.